uh, I'm very honored to present our recent work on constructing cost-effective on-chain mixers. Uh, this work is joined with uh, Michael uh, from Univers University of Bern and uh, Duke from Visa Research and William from Norton Belt and uh, Christian from uh, Univers University of Bern. So uh, let me briefly introduce some background of blockchain privacy as well as on-chain mixers. It is well known that um, non-price preserving blockchains such as uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, cannot uh, provide uh, anonymity. Uh, they can only provide uh, stability. This is because the transaction information such as the transaction amount and user addresses are public. And many researchers have already shown that uh, we can leverage uh, some heuristics and also machine, machine learning algorithms to cluster user addresses. So that's why the on-chain mixers uh, are proposed. The idea of on-chain mixers are quite simple. Uh, they are governed by smart contracts. Uh, they enable users to use different addresses to deposit and withdraw. And for each deposit and withdraw transactions, users can only transfer a fixed amount of coins. And by using this, a user deposit address can be hidden among a set of other addresses, which is quite similar to K anonymity and it can help users to break, uh, break the linkability between addresses. And the, the largest on-chain mixer uh, is Tornado Cash. The recent work has already shown that more than 40,000 addresses have already used to deposit coins into Tornado Cash, which, is, which means it is quite popular. And uh, let's look at the, uh, the working flow of Tornado Cash. As we said, there is a there, there are smart contracts, they, uh, they, they gov they are, they are used, used to govern uh, a pool, and in this pool, there is a make or trade that will be used to record the deposit transactions of users. And for each deposit, uh, when a user wants to, for example, transfer one ether into the, into the pool, they should provide a commitment. And the commitment will be stored uh, uh, in the, in the make or trade, and the entire make trade will be updated. And for each deposit, the entire make trade will be updated. And when a user wants to withdraw from the, from the pool, the user needs to provide a ZK proof to show that the user has already deposited coins into the, into the pool, but the ZK proof won't link any information of the, of the deposit transaction. And when the ZK proof uh, is verified by the smart contracts, the, 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 the user will receive the coins tra transferred from the, from the pool. And there are three important uh, building blocks building uh, uh, components, commitment, make out make tree, and also ZK stock. And let, let's look at more uh, details regarding the smart contracts. As we said, when a user wants to uh, de deposit into the pool, the user needs to choose two random numbers to, com to compute the commitment. And uh, the, uh, after transferring the, the coins into the pool, the, the smart contracts will update the make out tree, and the balance of the, of the pool will be updated. And when a user wants to withdraw from the pool, the user needs to provide a proof, and the proof is generated by using the secret case of the of the uh, using the secrets of the commitment, and uh, and then the proof will be transferred to the smart contracts, and the smart contracts will verify that okay this is correct uh, correct proof that can show that this user has already deposited into the pool, and. After that, after the verification, the coins will be transferred uh, to the user. I, it is also we should also know that uh, note that uh, there is the user needs to uh, generate a unifier to show that uh, the, the the withdrawal uh, has already been uh, the, the 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 coins have already been withdrawn to prevent the users from uh, double withdrawal. Yeah, that's the overall that's the overall working flow of Tornado Cash. Cash. Uh, it is helpful to help users to enhance their privacy, especially especially to break the uh, the linkability between their addresses. But it's a, but in practice, uh, it's a bit expensive to use to to use uh, to use Tornado Cash. Cash. We have analyzed more than one hundred fifty fifty six uh, deposit transactions of Tornado Cash. Cash. And we find that the average deposit cost is about 1.1 million uh, gas, which is uh, about 53 times uh, more than the more than, uh, basic ether transfer. So why why this is cost why this is expensive? We we analyzed the data structure of the maker trade. We find that there are two main reasons. The first is that 
the channel cache or the existing mixers, they are using snark-friendly hash functions, such as micmic and piston, which is a bit expensive to compute. And another reason is that uh, every, for every deposit, the Intel microchip will be updated. So in our, in our work, we aim to reduce the uh, deposit cost. We've, uh, uh, yeah, this, this finger shows how the, how the uh, megatree is updated in, in current Tanada cache. As we said, when the deposit, when the deposit came, the, the Intel megatree will be updated. And the computation cost of this uh, update is all, uh, all log, uh, log n. n is the, is the size of the, of the megatree. And we also find that there's, there, there are some, 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 some works they have been proposed to, to reduce that kind of cost, what they call uh, incremental update, the, or what they call a uh, Macau mountain range. Uh, the, the idea of Macau mountain range is that we don't uh, update the uh, entire Mac tree, but we built the, the, the tree from the beginning. So we built the tree um, and we, we can we can reduce the deposit cost by using that because we don't need to uh, update the Intel, uh, Intel Mac tree. But the question for this is that we cannot apply that kind of method uh, into Tanada Cache because in Tanada Cache, at the beginning, we should uh, initialize the, the, the make out tree and just the size of the make, out, uh, the, the make out tree is fixed, which means that kind of a solution cannot be directly uh, applied to, to Tanada Cache. So in, our, so in our design, we propose to Another another solution. Uh, in this solution, we update the tree per a deposit uh, per a batch of deposits. So, which means we we don't uh, update the tree per deposit, but per batch. So the idea is is a bit is simple. We, we are inspired by uh, by Merkel Mountain Range, but here we call our solution as Merkel Pyramid Builder, because here we don't. Uh, built the entire micro tree, but we, we, we built the uh, subtree and then we insert uh, the subtree into the existing micro tree. Uh, by, by building the, by building the, by using, we, we, we also using a deposit queue that can use to help us to uh, construct the, 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 the subtree. So let me show an example of how it works. Here we, we use a deposit queue of a size of four and uh, when and we built different uh, subtrees, and the subtrees will be uh, up, uh, will be inserted into the into the Intel Mac tree that uh, then can help us to uh, save the uh, deposit cost. The first that when uh, when, uh, when, uh, when the first deposit came, it will be stored into the subtree, and uh, when the fourth when four uh, deposits come, uh, which means the the deposit queue is full, and then we will insert. The, 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 the subtree into the into the Intel Mac tree and the Intel Mac tree will be updated. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the basic idea of our of our first solution. And we find that for such kind of solution, uh, it's simple because it, it's easy. We just bench the deposits and then okay the 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 the, the times of the uh, to update the Intel Mac tree will be reduced. But we should also consider two uh, two questions. The first is that who will pay for the deposit depositing cost? Uh, the last, of course, it is the last client of the deposit queue. So we should uh, we should consider that how can we make this uh, this solution more let's say more fair for 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 the last client. So we propose that uh, the, the the previous clients in the deposit queue will pay additional deposit fees. To the to the to the smart contracts, and the smart contracts will will accumulate that kind of fee, and it will be used to uh, to uh, compensate the, the the last client. And here is our algorithm that we 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 use to construct the the deposit uh, interactions between the client and also the smart contract. We 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 end a deposit queue as we mentioned that. And we also end up a parameter to, to record the, the additional phase that we received from the previous clients in the deposit queue. And the, the deposit and the, the accumu uh, accumulated phase will be transferred to the last client when the deposit queue is full. 
Yeah, that's the basic idea of our uh, solution to, to, to guarantee the fairness of users uh, in different positions uh, in, a, in, a, in a deposit queue. And another reason, is, another question we should consider is that uh, this solution will cause a longer deposit waiting time. As we said, when a user um, deposited into the pool, the user needs to first uh, deposit, uh, the, the, the deposit transactions will be first stored in a deposit queue. And when the deposit queue is full, uh, the deposit queue will be used to construct a subtree, sub and the subtree will be used to update the Intel Mac tree. And then it will cause some cost. And we analyzed the historical data of, of Tornado Cash. We found that when, by, by choosing different queue size, we found, queue size, we found that the, the, uh, let's say the deposit waiting time is about several days. But, the, but, the, but we can argue that it's not, a good, it's not a bad idea to have a longer uh, deposit waiting time because on the initial website of Tornado Cash, they recommended that the users uh, should wait for several time, wait for some time after they uh, deposited into the pool. Um, then it it can enhance their. In this way, they can they can achieve a better privacy because uh, it's not a good idea to just deposit into the pool and then immediately withdraw from the pool because it can let us to let others to 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 link their uh, deposit and withdraw addresses. So that's the two uh, that's the two uh, issues we considered for this solution. And we also analyzed uh, our, our solution, uh, how much cost we can save by using uh, our MPV solution. We found that we can reduce the deposit cost. Let's consider the, the deposit queue size is, the size of the deposit queue is K. And for the K deposits, uh, in, the initial, uh, in the initial design of Tornado Cash, the deposit cost is K multi log N. N is the is the is the size of the of the entire Mac tree, but in our design, the deposit cost will be reduced to k plus log uh, log n, and we also implemented our uh, our solution, and we by choosing different deposit queue, and we also by ch by choosing different uh, uh, train dips, uh, and we found that we can reduce the deposit cost by by about seven times. Yeah, that's our first solution, and we are, we are also Consider that, can we improve the de uh, deposit cost further? Can we reduce the, reduce the deposit cost further? Uh, we, inspired by Rollup and other often solutions, we, we, we came up with the idea that we can put the expensive part often, which means the train update often, and then leave the verification on chain. So the solution is, is simple, that we let the users, uh, more precisely, we let the depositors, they, uh, they first read the uh, old uh, Maker tree from on-chain, and then they update the, uh, the new uh, Maker tree uh, off-chain. And then after they finish that kind of computation, they will generate a proof to show that, okay, the new uh, Maker tree is updated correctly. And that kind of proof, as well as the new uh, updated tree, uh, will, be, uh, will be transferred to smart contracts. And the smart contracts will ver verify uh, the, uh, the proof. And if this proof is correct, uh, then the, 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 the tree will be uh, updated. And we can also combine uh, the, this solution, the off-chain solution, what we call the verifiable computation solution, with our previous solution. In this way, the, 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 the user the, or the depositor, they will compute the the new um, a new Maker tree uh, by by batching the deposit transactions, and we also implement such kind of uh, solution, and we find that the VC approach will can further reduce the deposit cost. Yeah, that's the uh, so uh, we have some some conclusions. The first is that our first solution MPC, uh, MPB can 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 help us to reduce the deposit co cost by about uh, seven times, and the VC uh, solution can further reduce the deposit cost. And our solutions are, are quite simple and can be simply uh, deployed uh, in practice. Yeah, that's all for my presentation. And by the way, I would, end, uh, I would like to end a note from my uh, co-author. Uh, VSA research team is looking for the summer interns. If you are interested, in, please just uh, drop an email to Duke. Yeah, that's all for my presentation. Uh, thanks for listening. I'm here for your questions. Any questions from the audience? 
Quick question. Uh, is your code open source? You uh, open we, source? we plan to do that. And quick, one more quick question. Uh, on the kind of delayed withdrawal, you're saying the client will uh, have to wait some time till the batch uh, com f finishes completing before right. withdrawing. Yeah. Can you alternate, like, can you can you use a different zero knowledge proof technique that you prove that you're either part of the batch or part of the... Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good that's solution. We, we haven't considered that in our paper, but uh, uh, I think it's an interesting direction. We will explore it in the future. Because the question is that we should prove that you are in, 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 a, in the deposit queue, right? So maybe we can use other ZK solutions to, to do that. But it will, of course, it will cause uh, additional cost. Uh, yeah, we will investigate in the future. Thanks for the point. Yeah. Thank you. More questions? If not, let's thank Japan again. Thank you.